People are sick and tired of seeing franchises they love be taken, torn apart, and rebooted for modern audiences. The hacks in Hollywood can't write anything new or anything good even when they have amazing source material and fleshed out characters at their disposal. And we've known about the Velma reboot coming out for a long time now, but the first teaser has faced an enormous amount of backlash. I have a few things to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or support the channel via YouTube member memberships. All of the links are in the description, and of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. So I wanted to start off with showing the official teaser. I cannot really watch the whole entire thing uh, in this video because, of course, it will get struck down and I'm not going to risk losing my channel because of a trailer like this, but it is on YouTube, Velma official teaser, HBO Max, and it is getting ratioed to hell and back. It is sitting at 1.3, almost 1.4 million views in only a few days, which is pretty good view-wise. But unfortunately for HBO Max, the likes and dislikes are terrible for them. It's sitting at 24,000 likes and 175,000 dislikes. You would think that maybe it would be at 100k likes to 175 dislikes. No, okay? It is sitting at almost 200,000 dislikes and it is getting roasted on social media. People are not impressed with the changes that they've made, specifically that Velma is now a lesbian. Now, I have absolutely no problems with watching, you know, LGBT shows and seeing these types of characters in entertainment, but unfortunately, uh, they decided to market this show as she's a lesbian and she's always been this way. We just made it official, even though that could not be further from the truth. I would argue that yes, Velma has been bisexual, but she has never been just a lesbian. And there are plenty of examples online about her not being a straight up lesbian. This is a, a mega thread that is online. Velma was always a lesbian. The signs are there. The signs are her just flirting with a bunch of men, kissing a bunch of men. Uh, this is the Velma that I know and the Velma that I remember seeing in all of these different shows and movies, but of course, this new HBO series is basically just a Mindy uh, Kalig self-insert series. When you take a well-known, loved character like Velma and you change around her backstory, her personality, who she is in general, of course you're going to face the wrath of the internet and you're going to face a lot of backlash. I am very, very sad that they are making this series. They're changing her character around and so many other people are as well. If we go down to the comment section, HBO and the people behind the show are getting absolutely roasted, and they are on Twitter as well. Now, a lot of people are using the same template that they did on the Rings of Power trailers, like the part where Velma said, I am Dominion, and turned into a dinosaur and dominated over all the ghosts was so amazing, such a powerful scene. The part when she ripped off her own mask to reveal a white girl underneath, an HBO executive said, we've gotten away with it if it wasn't for these pesky kids gave me goosebumps. The part where Velma said, Shaggy, we need to cook is truly inspiring and sent chills down my spine. It is just this meme template that I think is hilarious. I bet the people at HBO Max are furious over uh, how much, you know, heat that this series has taken so far. But if we go on over to Twitter and we just look up, um, you know, the Velma series, you're going to see a lot of posts of people who are very upset. Uh, the showrunner for this actually explained why Mindy's Velma series won't include Scooby-Doo. What made Scooby-Doo a kid's show is Scooby-Doo. We 
couldn't have a take on it. Like, how can we have this in a fun and modern way? Which, of course, is absurd. This is the problem with Hollywood. They can't figure out how to make a new project respect the previous source material, so they act like it doesn't exist and end up erasing the best, most iconic parts. If you can't figure out how to utilize a franchise in a modern way without erasing what made the franchise special, you shouldn't be touching the franchise at all. It has been happening for years now and I will call it out whenever I see it. They're taking beloved properties, remaking them, and modernizing them, which 90% of the time means they're destroying them. And this is what they're doing with this Velma series. They can't even put Scooby-Doo in it because Scooby-Doo made it a kid's show. People want to see a Scooby-Doo. People would totally be down for watching a Scooby-Doo show where, you know, Scooby is swearing and they're doing adult things. I mean, that would be pretty freaking funny, but no, they, you know, they wanted to separate themselves from the previous movies and shows, which is just fucking ridiculous. People are saying things like, take it away, I can't believe that they'd go through with this series, and even this show is going to be so bad, I won't even watch it. I just don't know what they were thinking with this series. You're taking away some of the best parts of this franchise. You're changing around characters. And of course, are they just changing Velma? No, of course not, because that would be absurd. Um, Velma is now, of course, darker skin, black. Shaggy is black. Daphne is Chinese. And Fred is the token, dumb, white guy. Of course, they just had to do this. They change around all of the other characters, but no, 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 no. They have to have a token dumb white guy, which of course is Fred in this case. I just don't know what they were thinking with this. They really believe that people want to watch this garbage. It just makes absolutely no sense. I'm so sad that all of these franchises I've loved my whole life are being taken and ruined, okay? I've loved Scooby-Doo for so many years, but this is just the worst thing that they could create with this franchise. Maybe this show will come out and it'll actually surprise us because it'll be good, the jokes won't fall flat, the overall design of the show will be good. I highly, highly doubt it. I have zero interest in this series at this point. I'm so sad that they're changing around characters. They can't even put Scooby-Doo in it because they're not good enough at writing, so they can't even write him into the show in a good way. Overall, I think that the show is going to be a disaster, and I think when the official trailers release, even more people are going to be furious over this series. But for now, that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.